Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So guys, we have some news coming through, but first off, don't forget to log in and claim this Summer Splash gift. If you save this for CVC, hit claim gift. Um, they should stay in the inbox for a few days. There we go, 99 days. Wow, that's actually very impressive. So obviously using these during CVC could be a great time. 3v3 is an excellent, excellent source of CVC points. So the thing I wanna share with you all today is the guaranteed event we're having starting tomorrow, July 19th, Tuesday. So during CVC, in case you're curious. Summon champions using Ancient Shards while the event is active and you are guaranteed to get Ragash by your 150th Ancient Shard. Remember, if you do happen to summon him before your 150th Ancient Shard, your event will end. And it doesn't actually say it here, but usually these events do not reset your Mercy. So basically, if you're zero shards into Mercy, so you literally just now pulled a Legendary, you pull your entire 150 shards, you don't get any other Legendary, you pull Ragash, well, you're still going to be 150 ancient shards into your mercy system meaning that whenever you pull shards next you're only going to be about 70 shards away from a guaranteed legendary because of how the mercy system works about 220 is when you are guaranteed that legendary champion so let's go in here and talk about ragash so this dude is probably one of the coolest looking champions in the game tigers look absolutely sick okay so he looks he looks awesome he definitely looks like an awesome champion so as far as that goes, yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to go for him, but my shards are looking a little bit sketchy, not going to lie. 32 Ancient Shards, we have some gems, but I don't know. I think I'm going to do some testing on the test server with him. I'll get you guys a video before tomorrow so you can guys can see my opinions and decide if you want to go for him. But taking a look at this champion, if you're, well, we'll get into that in just a second. But let's take a look at his skills, go over this real quick. So as A1 attacks one enemy two times, places a 60% increased defense buff on this champion for two turns. Very good. Nothing to complain about there. He is a defense-based champion, giving himself an increased defense buff. That's great. His A2 ability attacks all enemies. 75% chance of placing 60% decreased defense buff debuff on each enemy for two turns before attacking, which is huge. So you did, wouldn't have to bring a decreased defense champion alongside him, but you would have to gear him for accuracy, which may be perfectly fine. Also has a 75% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn after attacking. Now this is an AoE stun. Books up to 100%, which is amazing. There's not a whole lot of champions who have AoE stuns that book up to 100% chance. So an AoE decreased defense, as well as an AoE stun, this is a very solid part of his kit. And on a three-turn cooldown, this dude's going to be absolutely incredible if you're somebody going through progression. But if you're somebody working on progression, I don't know if you have the 150 Ancient Shards saved up. So we'll get into that in just a minute. Now his A3 ability places a 25% strength and buff and a 30% increased speed buff on all allies for two turns. Also places a perfect veil buff on this champion for two turns. So excellent, excellent here. Six turns, books down to four turns. Strengthen basically reduces the damage the enemies deal to you. I believe at 25%, but either way, Strengthen is an amazing buff to have. Increased speed, obviously amazing. On a four turn cooldown when fully booked, this dude's gonna require, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 books. 10 books for a legendary, not that bad. And then his passive ability at the start of each turn places a perfect veil buff for one turn on the ally with the highest attack. He's a defense-based champion, so he's not gonna have the highest attack. So basically, he's gonna come in and kind of protect your champions who have high attacks, your nukers, who are probably gonna be pretty squishy. So definitely a great champion for, like I said, progressional content, and we'll get into some more testing on him on the test server before he's actually live. But right now, he's got a very solid kit. Looking at it, you hopefully can decide if you need him or not. If you're going for faction wars, honestly, Skinwalkers, I believe, is one of the hardest factions to get through. But this dude's bringing a stun all the time. He's going to make Faction Wars so much easier for you, I believe. Especially if you're going for him, right? If you don't have him, then he's not going to do anything for you. But let's take, check out his aura, last but not least. Increases allies' defense in all battles by 30%. So guys, this guy's kit is awesome. Very impressive kit. 1800 base HP, 1400 defense, 102 speed. So good speed, good defense, good HP. Let's check out Solus just for some comparison. So go down here to Solus and see it, because Solus hits like an absolute truck. He's a, a monster. So a little bit more defense than Solus and a little bit less HP than Solus. A little bit more speed, which is very, very helpful getting the champion speed tuned to your team. So taking a look at this, it's gonna be 150 Ancient Shards. So the the thing that I'm, I love they're doing these events. I love the guaranteed events. Honestly, I think the guaranteed events are probably one of the best events that they do because like I said, it doesn't reset your mercy if you just get that legendary. So you prime yourself for getting a legendary, whether it's on the next um, double legendary event, 
whether it's on a 10X that you want to go for, whether it's on a 2X event, whatever it is, you get yourself primed to go for that. You probably can get a few legendaries going for this one, maybe maybe one extra at least, right? 150 shards, hopefully you get at least one extra, but I do really like the guaranteed events. Now, I was kind of thinking we were gonna get a guaranteed event from Sacred Shards, just because we had the Candrophon from Ancient Shards recently. We had the extra legendary event from Ancient Shards as well. So we've had two events relatively back to back with Ancient Shards, so I got a feeling, let me know how your shard stash is looking, but I got a feeling most people who've been saving Ancient Shards for guaranteed events, you probably don't have very many. Because if you're like me, I literally pulled during the bonus legendary event, I pulled during the Candrophon event, and now I'm sitting at 32 Ancient Shards, 10,000 gems, so I, I could gem it, I definitely could gem it or get very close, but if I wanna go for this guy, I'm gonna have to spend probably at least $130. Depends on how much the string pack is, maybe $100, but it's something to consider. So if your gym, if your shards are pretty low, then you really don't got much of a choice, especially if you're a lower spender player. So it's definitely interesting that, I mean, I guess it's obviously in their best interest to go ahead and stack all these ancient shard events back to back to back. I was hoping it'd be sacred shard, not a big deal, but something to keep in mind. If you've been saving your sacred shards and you're getting impatient, keep in mind, they could do a guaranteed ch champion from Sacred Shards very, very soon, and then you're gonna wish you had these Sacred Shards, because the last one that I remember has been a little while since they've done a guaranteed champion from Sacred Shards. So obviously, guaranteed champions from Ancients is great. We have it going in with CVC as well, so you're gonna get some CVC points. It can be personal reward CVC as well. So really, guys, there's nothing negative about this event, other than the fact that you may be tempted to go ahead and open up your wallet, give player room some of your money, but guys, with that said, just want to give you all that update. Be on the lookout for a video coming probably later today about Ragash and what areas he excels in, in my opinions, as far as is the champion actually viable, depending on if you're early, mid, or late game. So with that said, guys, amazing Skinwalker and a faction who's kind of needing some better champions. I mean, they have some good legendaries, definitely, but the epics make it a little difficult to get through faction wars, to be honest. But this dude, I think he could definitely help. So guys, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all very much for watching the video, and I will catch you all in the next one.